Hello, I'm Paul Ndiho. This week on the Africa Innovation and Technology Channel, promoting tourism in the East African nation of Uganda. I recently met up with a delegation from Uganda that was here in the Washington area to promote tourism in Uganda. Tourism to Africa is rising and organizations like the Africa Travel Association are working hard to sustain this growth by spreading the word about places to visit in Africa. This year, the spotlight is on Uganda. The East African nation will host ATA's 39th Congress in November. Here is a preview of what Uganda offers to its visitors. Three countries or at any one of the More than 600 delegates from over 30 countries are expected to attend this year's Africa Travel Associations World Congress in the Ugandan capital Kampala. The goal is to promote tourism, share and experience the unique attractions that Uganda offers beyond Kolila tracking which remains the backbone of the country's tourism industry. Ed Bagman is the Africa Travel Association's executive director. Uh, Uganda, of course, has incredible tourism potential and has amazing tourism attractions and sites. Uh, the people are warm and hospitable. It's a destination where there is an increasingly growing demand for tourism and we want to help to bring uh, increased attention to Uganda's tourism, but also it's a very important uh, country in Africa. Maria Mutagamba, Uganda's Minister of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, has pledged her full support to the ATA and has reassured the international community that the Anti-Homosexuality Act, signed into law by President Yoweri Seven in February, was struck down by the nation's constitutional court in August and is no longer in place. I want to assure all the people, not only Americans, but moreover, that Uganda, of course, we are a democratic country. This was a private member's bill. It came to parliament and it gained the, the excitement. Parliament passed it, but logic prevailed. When the judiciary came in and examined the grounds, definitely it was narrowed. And we respect that. As government, we have respected the decision of the judiciary, and so the law is no longer in place. I want to assure everybody that please come to Uganda. Whether you have an inclination to homosexuality or gay be or whatever, or gay, that is none of our business. That is your private life. Provided you do it in your private way, we don't have anything to do with, to, to bother with you. Come to Uganda, enjoy the most friendly atmosphere that you can find. Mr. Stephen Asimwe, the Chief Executive Officer, Uganda Tourism Board, a government agency that is essentially charged with promoting tourism, says that Uganda is gifted by nature. Tourism for Uganda particularly is a very broad concept. I'll begin with the most um, visited uh, issue in Uganda, which is uh, wildlife and nature. Uh, Uganda is home to 54% of the world's mountain gorillas. They are found in uh, over 10 habitats. Uh, we are also home to the world's largest concentration of primates. Uh, we're looking at chimps, monkeys, baboons, apes, and uh, obviously gorillas. We are also home to the big five, the elephants, the lions, the leopards, the cheetahs, the giraffes, the rhino, buffalo, elephants, the ostriches. Um, Uganda is uh, proud to be uh, also the habitat for 50% of the, uh, Africa's bird species and over 11% of all the birds that are found in the world are found in Uganda. Susanna Muhwezi, ATA Uganda chapter president, says that tourists should come to Uganda because of its beautiful people, its beautiful culture, the dances, the different tribes, and the diversity that cannot be found anywhere else. First of all, I'm the ATA President Uganda Chapter, and we are holding the 39th Congress between 11th and 16th November. So I'm here to invite 
the American citizens, the tour operators, and the travelers, and anyone who's interested to realize their dream, to see the best kept secret of Africa, which is Uganda. So Uganda is the pearl of Africa. It's gifted by nature. It's where the source of the Nile is. It's, we have the Renzoli Cape Mountains. We have some of the best national parks. As you know, the, the second best national park that won an award is from Uganda. Barbara Van Helen Pluta, chairperson of Uganda's Association for Tour Operators, says Uganda has many unique qualities. Tourism in Uganda is a growing industry. Uh, as a destination, as a product, it's a product with huge, massive potential. We have so many things that we can show people who want to come to Uganda. We talk about animals, we call the big five, and what we call the unique two. That would be the gorillas and the chimpanzees. But we have several other primates, over 27 different types of primates that you can find in Uganda. We have a varied culture and very rich, with over 56 tribes. And languages and each one has their own dress, their own language, their own food. We have a very hospitable people. Kerry McTavishan, an American citizen and a proprietor of Pearl Africa Tours and Travel, has lived and worked in Uganda for the last 23 years. She says the timing of the 39th Congress could not have come at a better time. Uh, well, I went to Uganda as a dentist and I also worked for the Ministry of Finance. But in uh, 1994, I started in the tourism industry about uh, a month after the first gorilla permits were sold there. And uh, I've been involved in tourism ever since then. So going to Uganda with an open heart and a good mind gets you far because the people are extremely generous, very friendly, and very, very giving. Tourism analysts say this world-class event will serve as a catalyst to promote Uganda's investment both in domestic and regional tourism. I look forward to seeing you in Uganda this November. And for those of you who are interested in going but haven't bought your tickets, you can check out at the Africa Travel Association website at www.africatravelassociation.org for more information. Thanks for watching.